welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. We are gonna make the most delicious nut-free spongy cheesecake filling for a nut-free base. So, we've got the Optimum 9200 blender here. We've got the lid and tamper. We'll need to use both today. And we're gonna start out actually not with the blender for the first section. We're gonna take two tablespoons of psyllium husk. Now, this recipe can be adapted. If you have agar flakes, instead you can use one tablespoon of agar flakes and mix it with one a quarter cup of hot water. If you don't have agar flakes, two tablespoons of psyllium husk will work just fine. It'll give you a nice spongy, almost marshmallowy texture, whereas the agar flakes will actually give you a more cheesecakey like texture. Either way, it tastes fantastic. I'm just going to mix this really well, really thoroughly until it forms a nice little ball. Now I can see it's a little bit dry here, so I've kept the jug. And I'll just put a splash more water and you can do the same. You don't need much, but just make sure that you've got a nice spongy consistency when you do this. And then put that down there on the shelf. That's perfect. So I'm going to mix it in really well and it can sit like that, thickening up while I add the other ingredients into the blender. There we go. And this is important, you do want to mix that psyllium husk with the water quite well so that it actually sets your end result and it makes a little ball. Here we go. You can do that in the blender if you like, but it's not very much. If you're doubling the recipe, it's easily done in the blender, but you'll see it's now one big sticky lump of psyllium husk and water. Now, next step. Take the blender and put the remaining ingredients right in there. So we've got the juice of two lemons, we've got three tablespoons of coconut butter. And this coconut butter, if you like the look of that creamy deliciousness, you can actually find the video for that on this Fruity TV YouTube channel. And remember, if you like the channel, subscribe down below. And also, you can visit www.facebook com and see the Fruity Facebook page so it's slash Fruity on the end and you'll be able to get great recipes from there as well. Two tablespoons of coconut nectar. Now this really is a sweetener of your choice kind of option. What you can use is honey if you're not vegan. You can also use maple syrup if you're not concerned about it being raw. But my preference um, for this particular one flavor wise is actually the coconut nectar. The one tablespoon of coconut oil goes right in and coconut oil as we know is an excellent fat. Not in the recipe below but a little tip from me add a little bit of salt, it'll really increase the flavour. The zest, about a teaspoon of zest, now you could zest it with a zester, but because this blender is so great, so high speed, I just chopped it off with a bit of a knife and the blender will do the rest. And you'll see in here also the contents of the vanilla bean or a teaspoon of vanilla of your choice. So that's it, I put all the ingredients into the blender, I'm going to blend it. I am going to blend it for a full 20 seconds. It might look blended before that, but you really want that zest to turn out nice and smooth. So I turn the blender on, use the function down the bottom, 20 seconds and we're done. It's enough time to clean up my dishes and grab the base from the freezer. That's where you would normally have that waiting for you. All we need to do to finish off this delicious, delicious, delicious. Um, lemony nut free cheesecake is pop that psyllium husk mixture into the blender. Use the tamper to push it down into the other mix. Pop the lid on top, make sure it's securely in place and then give it a good blend. Now I'm going to use low, you don't need to go any higher than that. We just need it to combine. You don't want to go too much, you don't want to make a big rubbery mass. <laughs> not very long at all, about five seconds, and we've got a nice combined mixture. There it is right there. It's a bit, mm, it is absolutely great. Nice and lemony. If you don't like a really strong lemon flavour, you can use less lemon juice and you can use less zest. I'm going to use a long handled spoon and scrape all of this out into the base of my cheesecake. And this is the nut free base that you'll also find the recipe for here on the Fruity YouTube channel. Now you could also have used the spatula that comes with the Optimum 9200 and I will do that but the reason why I didn't is I'm actually going to use it now and just show you how you can flatten out the base 
with it but look it gets that last little bit out look at that delicious now to flatten out this base it's quite sticky um, quite a sticky base so you just want to use the back of the spatula and get it as even as possible making clear round shapes in the bottom of the pan look at that just spreading out absolutely beautifully here um, and then you can decorate this one up with some sliced lemons or you can sprinkle some fresh coconut on top. What I have done on other occasions as well is to make a nice topping by blending just a little bit of blueberries with some coconut oil and then just pouring that over the top in a thin layer and that coconut oil will help the blueberries set on top and you get a pretty coloured top. And you can do that with raspberries as well if you like or even mango with lemon and mango that would taste absolutely delicious. There we go. Nice and easy. All that has to happen now is for you to pop that into the freezer and leave it set. In 15 to 20 minutes it'll be totally done. I'd recommend leaving it in the freezer until you want to serve it and take it out about 10 minutes before you want to eat. Absolutely easy, completely nut free, tastes absolutely amazing. And uh, that's all from me today. Ciao for now.